Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the broadcast for a very special game that the Pioneers will be playing here as they traveled only 20 minutes to Moon Township in the brand new UPMC Event Center on the campus of Robert Morris University as they will face the Robert Morris Colonials for their second Division I game in a row. And we are off here at the UPMC Event Center for this edition of Point Park Men's Basketball on the Point Park Sports Network, presented by Stretch Internet at the Pioneer. Still a full court press, and now Farrow with it at the wing. And he just hands it back off for Callaway. Short corner, now driving in, gives it back for McHenry. Now into the corner for Callaway. He will try for a three, the bottom. Jesse Callaway with the first three for the Pioneers tonight. Down now by 11. Pioneers will take it all day long to see if they can cut it to seven or six. So Callaway is going to end on it for Shockley. Shockley trying to drive on into the paint, kicks it out for McHenry. Now Van, Van thought about taking it, gets it into the paint near the three-point line, and he will get it in for two. Pioneers down by seven. Have to stand tall on defense again. Might have, might have found another scorer, Nate Van. So now Hamilton is going to lob it in for Farrell. He's at the short corner. Farrow with a turnaround there, and Prince now trying to get the rebound, and it goes through. So the lead is 12 for Robert Morris. Two to go in the first. And it's Williams who's guarded by Hamilton. And now Williams, a spin around the move. He still has the ball. He drives inside, and it's no good. And Nagandi tried to get a rebound in, and there was a fight for the ball, and it is won by Jesse Calloway. Now Calloway leading it up at the wing, off for McHenry. McHenry fakes it, he gets in the pan, he'll try to settle for two, it rolls around, and it goes in. So the lead's down to 10 in favor of the Colonials. 1.30 left to go, and the Pioneers trying to get some motivation in to the locker room. However, they have to stand tall on defense again. I'm just going to give it off for Will Ben as they were passing it back and forth in midcourt, and, and now it's Williams. 12 to go. Williams still has the ball, and he gives it off now. And Williams oh. is going to give it off for John Williams, who would try for three, and it is no good, and that will do it for the half. As Tradon Williams and John Williams were playing with it, Tradon tried to give it over for John, and he just tried to fire it for three, and but instead it went to the front of the rim, and that will do it for the first half as the Colonials, 42 and the Pioneers 20 as it is going to be an inbound first for the Colonials to begin half number two here at the UPMC events and he kicks it back out for Ferris who's going to try for another three and it won't go in the rebound taken by Van who oh what a good pass there to Jordan Stowe who finishes on the layup there and here comes Williams now he kicks it back out for Trayton Williams who will try for a three and it rolls around and Singjawal gets the rebound so now it's Nate Van. He runs down the sideline, now in the paint, and he gets it on the cha-ching shot. That's a nice move by uh, Nate Van. So the Van up to eight points. So the Pioneers have 45, and they have four more than they had at Kent State. And that will do it here at the UPMC Event Center. Robert Morris gets the job done, 75, and the Pioneers with 57.